In this lecture, we will talk about introduction properties and classification of lipids. Lipid is the second class of biomolecule. You are watching my channel, Biochem Lectures. My name is Dr. Alam Zeb. I am a professor at the Department of Biochemistry, University of Malacan. I did PhD from the Institute of Biochemistry, Graz University of Technology, Graz, Austria. The content of this presentation includes introduction to lipids, some sources, some properties of the lipids, and classification of lipids. First, introduction. Lipids are a class of biomolecules. They are heterogeneous compounds, have common and defining feature of which is their insolubility in water, which means that they are insoluble, usually insoluble in water, insoluble in organic solvent. This is the basic uh, properties. So, um, although there is not no clear definition, but a simple definition is would be like um, that they are organic molecule, relatively insoluble in water, soluble in organic solvent, maybe ester of fatty acid or potentially related to fatty acid, and utilized by the living cell. These are the common feather of the definitions. Of lipids. Sources. Below are some important sources of lipids. Uh, in this picture, you can see the sources from animal and plants like eggs, avocados, sardine like or fishes, pistachios, walnut, almond, uh, olive oil, not only olive oil, uh, and nut butter, but there are other sources of the aisles too, but these are somehow common sources. Classification. Classification is based on function. The first class is called storage lipid. The second one is called Structural lipids. The third class is known as miscellaneous or other lipids are sometimes called functional lipids. The storage lipid include fatty acid, triacylglycerols, while structural lipids include phospholipids, glycolipids, and sterols, etc. Miscellaneous lipids include pet soluble vitamins like A, D, E, K, and eicosanides. Another type of simple classification of would be two into two classes. The first one is known as fats. Fats are solid in nature, they are mostly saturated and usually obtained from animal sources. The second class is known as oils or oily lipids or oily substances. They are liquid in nature, they include, they have chemically they have high unsaturation and they are mostly uh, obtained from plants. Now some example of fats. You can see in this picture the sources of fats. You can see they are mostly solid in nature and 
for example you can see the uh, the cheese the um, the milk sources and the butters the eggs and the meat all these sources are usually obtained from um, animal products so tallow milk butter cheese lard and meats these are the important sources of lipids example of oils in this picture you can see the um, the oil present in different bottles it's the examples are soybean oil olive oil sunflower oil sesame oil quinoa oil palm oil and there are other minor oil too now the properties includes that they are uh, oil or in pairs are used as a frying medium and you can see um, this is the picture of my book that was published by John Willie and Sons UK uh, John Willie in 2019 and in this book at the chapter number four which is titled is chemistry of frying medium you can see the application of these aisle uh, these uh, eyes and fats and lipids and food uh, you can view some of the pages or chapters in Google books online 